going to answer this pre-calculus question about a rectangular box being formed out of a 16 inch by 20 inch piece of cardboard. And it says that there are cuts shown in the diagram and folding up the sides, but there was no diagram. So I'm assuming that what I have here in purple are the cuts. Because if you would cut this box, cut this out, and notice that this edge and this edge and this edge and this edge, these are now going to, this dashed line is going to be the base of the new box. Because when you cut this corner here in green, when you cut along here, let's turn that into something better. You cut here and you cut here and then you fold here what happens is that this side folds up like this. And so in our new rectangular box, it is about this size. And um, if I could draw it as if it was three dimensional, it would have um, it would look something like this. It's about that size. Let's do it this way. It would look like this and this, and this, and this, and it would be this tall, and this tall, and this tall. Well, assume that, and here's the back edge that you wouldn't be able to see. This would come straight down, this would come here. So this would be our box, and it would supposedly be symmetric. And so this green that we have just folded up is this front edge here. Okay, and if in blue I cut this corner, this, and this, and then I fold this box up, that's what's going to make this edge. And then here in orange, if I cut here and I cut here, and then I fold on this line, I fold this up, that gives me this back edge, which I've drawn too tall. And then if I cut this red here and red here and fold here then when you fold this edge up it becomes this side so notice that each edge here has to be the same height or they won't line up when you fold them up so each of these edges is going to be x that we cut out this is x, 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 this is x. So now the actual dimensions of my completed box, well, this is no longer 20. Think of this, this length right here. It was 20 when it was the whole thing, but I lose X of it here and I lose X inches here. So this is really 20 minus two X's. And if you look at my boxes width here, 
it started 16, but I lost x here and x here. So this is 16 minus 2x. So now what we find, we need the volume. We know that it's length times width times height. Well, the length, the new length, after we cut out that edge and fold it, is 20 minus 2x. The new width is 16 minus 2x's. And this height right here, this height is our x, straight here from our box. So when you multiply these all out, we find out that the volume equation, you'll have to FOIL these and then multiply the x through. We end up with 4x cubed minus 72x plus 320x. Now, you can factor a 4x out of that and be left with x squared minus 18x plus 80. And that factors into 4x times x minus 8 and x minus 10. Now, that doesn't help us find the maximum. If we were in calculus, we'd take the derivative of this and we'd set it equal to 0 and we'd find the x that was the min and the x was the max. But we are in pre-calculus, so the best thing to do is graph it. And so I have graphed it here, and I would like to upload it for you. Where did it go? Let's see if we can find it this time. There it is. So here's our graph. And if you'll notice, it reaches a max at approximately x equals 3. So. I believe that the inches should be cut, the edges, the slits should be three inches. And so if the slits are three inches, then 20 minus two times three, the length, x, which is our height, the length is going to be 14 inches and the width is going to be 16 minus 2 times 3 is going to be 10 inches. So the dimensions from least to greatest are going to be 3 by 10 by 14. And that maximum volume is what you get when you take 3 times 10 times 14, which is 420 cubic inches.
And that should be your answers. Thank you.